Bismillah Rahman Rahim. My name is Dr. Abdul Adamu from Data Analytica. This lecture, we are going to look at research objectives. If you are curious about formulating clear, specific, and measurable goals for your research study, you have come to the right place. Let's dive in. A research objective are specific and measurable goals that a researcher set out to achieve at the end of their research. Research objectives are important for the following reasons. One, they provide focus and clarity. They provide a clear direction and focus for a research study, ensuring that the project stays on track. Two, they help in assessment and evaluation. Research objectives help researchers assess success and impact of their study by providing specific outcomes and results to measure. Efficiency and time management. Research objectives help researchers prioritize their goals and optimize their use of time, effort, and resources. Contribution to knowledge objectives ensure that a research study has relevance, significance, and potential to contribute new insights and findings to the field of study. What are the characteristics of research objectives? One, specific. Research objectives should be clear, focused, and define the particular aspect of variable to be investigated. Two, measurable. Research objectives will allow for observable or quantifiable outcome and criteria for evaluation. Three, achievable. It should be realistic and attainable within the limitation of a research project. Four relevant objectives should contribute to existing knowledge, address a research gap, or address a specific problem or issue in the field of study. So when you are conducting your research study, it should be relevant to your field of study. It should be time-bound, that is, you should have a clear time frame or deadline for achieving the desired outcome and results. So the time frame for the objective should not be open-ended. It should be coherent. Research objectives should form a logical and consistent framework that collectively contributes to the overall research goal. The steps to formulate effective research objectives are first, identify your research topic, choose the specific area of interest, scope, or problem that you want to investigate. Two, analyze research questions. Break down your research questions into specific components or variables that you want to explore or understand. In our last lecture, we treated research questions and we saw how we broke down the components in the research question. Three, determine desired outcome. Think about the specific outcome or result that you are expecting at the end of the study from your research. Make sure they are relevant to the variable that you have identified. Make objective specific and measurable. Your objective must be specific, it must be clear and in a precise manner using action verbs to describe specific outcome or results you intend to achieve. So we use action words like to examine, to investigate, to assess, to determine. Evaluate relevance and significance. Examine how objective fits the research topic and contribute to the field of study in terms of relevance, significance, and value. Step number six is prioritize objective. If you have multiple objectives, prioritize them based on their importance and feasibility within your research project. Seven, align objective with methodology and ensure that your objectives are consistent with your choosing research method and can be achieved using available resources. So whatever research objective you have set, the methodology that you are going to use, it is those objectives that determine the type of methodology that you adopt. Then finally, you revise and refine. Regularly review and adjust your objective as needed based on emerging insight feedbacks or changing circumstances. 
a best practices for effective research objective. First, focus on quality, not on quantity. Limit your number of objectives to ensure that they are clear, specific, and realistic. Choose objectives that addresses the most important aspect of your research question and avoid overlapping or redundant goals. Use action-oriented language like we stated earlier. Use action verb to describe what you intend to accomplish through your research. For example, use to identify, compare, evaluate, analyze, develop, recommend. All these are action words that you can use in our research and there are also many of them which I have not mentioned. Avoid vague or ambitious language that make it difficult to assess the success or impact of your research outcome. Be flexible and adaptable. Recognize that research objectives may need to be revised or refined as you proceed with your research and gain new insight or data. Be open to adjusting your objective to aligning with emerging findings or changing circumstances. Do not see changes as failure but as opportunity that may improve your research. Here I give example on how to formulate research objective using a practical topic. This topic, we looked at it in our last video on research questions. The topic is effect of online customer reviews on purchase decisions of computer brands in Nigeria. Our proxies for online customer reviews are quality and credibility, quantity, valence, and source. The objectives, we use action words, the first one is to examine the effect of quality and credibility of online customer reviews on purchase decisions of computer brands in Nigeria. This objective is in relation to the first research question in our last video. If you have not watched it, you can check the link below this video. The second objective is to evaluate the effect of quantity of online customer reviews on purchase decisions of computer brands in Nigeria. This is also related to the second research questions. The third objective is to analyze the effect of violence of online customer reviews on purchase decisions of computer brands in Nigeria. This is related to the third research questions in our previous video. And finally, to analyze the effect of source of online customer reviews on purchase decisions of computer brands in Nigeria. This is also related to the number four research question. So it is very important sometimes we revisit our research objective because it helps us to stay focused on track. Constantly revisit research objective to ensure that your study is still relevant and aligned with your goals. It also helps us to assess progress and success. Use objective to evaluate and analyze your research process gather feedback and identify areas for improvement. And finally, it ensures completeness and validity. Revisiting our objective can help us ensure completeness and triangulation of our research, minimizing bias and error. In conclusion, research objectives are specific goals or aims that guide a research study. Effective research objectives are specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, time-bound, and coherent, that is SMART C. Formulative effective research objectives involve a step-by-step -step process of refining and clarifying goals and outcomes you want to achieve through your research study. Therefore, revisiting research objectives throughout the process helps ensure that the study stays focused and on track and enable accurate assessment of progress and success. This is the end of this video on research objective. If you enjoy this content, kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel at Data Analytica. You can like, share, and comment on the video. And if you want to watch more series on this thread for research, you can check them out on our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.